Hi, I'm Wayne Blanchard. I'm a certified financial planner and a member of the Garrett Planning Network. Our question today is, what decreases paid in capital? Well, paid in capital is all the money that comes in from the sale of all, I mean, when you bring in all the investors in the company. So everybody that invested the money, the total paid in capital is how much they invested in the company. Pretty simple, right? Well, how do you decrease that? Well, when somebody that, that invested their money into a company, they got shares for that. So the way you decrease paid in capital is basically any time you buy back shares. In times, there are certain times when companies will have excess money. Maybe when the stock sold for a, a certain, uh, maybe the stock was issued with kind of a value of $50, but the market value was $70. So a lot of times companies will take that additional $20 and put it in, a, in another fund and use it later on to retire some of the shares that are outstanding. So as soon as they do that, as soon as they give money back to those shareholders and buy back their stock, it means there's less shares of stock outstanding. So that decreases the amount of paid in capital. In other words, they deposited so much, but we gave so much back to them, so now your paid in capital is less. It's a very simple concept, and a lot of times, it, uh, when, when a company starts doing this, it really doesn't impact anything because it just means the company can get a little bit healthier in terms of, of decreasing the, the capital if they're buying back shares. If there's a decrease in capital for some other reason where that money that's in a separate account is just spent and it's spent, uh, it still could be a liability of the company and there would, could be some things that are going on in the company that are not right. But, Generally speaking, a decrease in, uh, in paid-in capital has to do with buying back shares in the company.